Hello everyone, this is Miguel Greenberg and today we are going to talk about JavaScript arrow functions. Uh, I suspect many of my followers spend a lot of time working with Python. So often we miss the developments in other languages. So I wrote an article on JavaScript promises uh, the other day and now I'm going to talk about another newer feature of JavaScript that you may not know about which is the arrow function syntax. Uh, so what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to write a function in the old way the way that you probably know and then in a few steps I'm going to convert it into the new syntax. So uh, let's create a JavaScript file and we're going to make this very simple. I'm, I'm just going to write a function that adds two numbers and returns the result. So you probably know this. It's called the function add. Uh, we have two arguments a and b and then we return a plus b, right? So this is pretty simple and then to test this function uh, we can add uh, we can say 1 plus 2 is, and then we can call the function with 1 and 2 arguments. So let's make sure that this works. Perfect. So now we have our first function. So uh, in the first step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this syntax uh, because as you probably know, uh, functions are first class values in JavaScript. So you can assign a function to a variable. So now uh, what I'm going to do is declare the function as an unnamed function and then assign it to a variable called add. So the end result is the same. So I can save this and if I run it I get the same result. So this continues to work. So in the next step I'm going to convert this into the arrow function syntax. So what I need to do now is take this function uh, keyword and replace it with this syntax with the uh, the arrow. This is what gives the arrow function the name. Uh, so basically we have the arguments within parentheses and then the function body, same as before. So I can save this. Let's try it again, continues to work in the same way. So this is the syntax that you may have seen. Uh, there is one more step for certain functions. Uh, if a function uh, returns a value, if all it does is return a value, then you can even remove the, uh, the curly brackets. So I can say like that. So there, there's not even if, if, if there's a single statement that returns a value sorry the return goes away too like that so this is as compact as you can make it for a function that only returns a value in a single statement uh, let's make sure that this works and you can see it continues to work um, for functions that take uh, no arguments the syntax is actually the same. So we can we can do it like this. And here we can say, well, actually, we can return, let's return foo, just a string. So now we can say, uh, we can call func here. There we go. Let's see. And that's the uh, that's the syntax. Um, so support for arrow functions in JavaScript is fairly widespread. So all, all the major browsers, except the uh, venerable Internet Explorer, support this. So you can do it in every browser, uh, every major browser, I should say, except Internet Explorer. Uh, so and of course you 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 can also do it in Node.js, which is what I'm doing now, here in my in my tests. Um, if you need to support Internet Explorer, 
uh, or, or any other non-major browser out there that doesn't do this. Uh, there is a way to convert this syntax back into the old style. And for that, you can use Babel, which is the JavaScript transpiler. Uh, Babel is a project that takes new JavaScript code and then converts it to uh, older style for platforms that don't have the latest version of the language. So we can give that a try. So uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to create uh, a repository here uh, to install packages here in this directory at all defaults. Okay, and then I'm going to install Babel. So uh, I'm going to save and then Babel requires three packages. Babel CLI, Babel Core, they have weird names with the uh, with the at sign. This is somewhat new. They, uh, they didn't used to have these names, but now these are the latest releases. Uh, and then Babel needs a uh, it needs to have presets, which basically configure what kind of what kinds of conversions it does. So we're going to use a fairly default one that converts anything that you write in newer JavaScript to uh, to ES5, which is the uh, the version that most browsers uh, support the, the the baseline for for JavaScript these days. Uh, so let's get this installed. Very good. So let's see. Now we can say uh, we have that in the dot bin directory inside not modules. That's where Babel is. Yes. Yep. So we're going to set the presets. It's going to be Babel preset env, the one that we just installed. And then our source file is func.js. And here you can see the uh, the converted code. So this is the version of this, these two functions in the old style. So if you need to support all those legacy browsers, then then you should incorporate Babel into your build. But I don't see that as a reason to not using the new style of functions because it's, it's actually very nice. I, I personally like it a lot. It, it makes for code that is uh, way more compact, especially when you have to define callbacks. Uh, so anyway, I hope you, uh, you found this useful and uh, start using arrow functions. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.